Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Steph and today I have a very exciting video for me because I'm going to be trying a brand new indie brand. It is run by a makeup artist called Lisa who lives on the sunny Isle of Wight. The brand is called Makeup by Lisa. For those of you who watch my channel, you will have seen it mentioned in the indie brands I want to try in 2020. For those of you who haven't seen that and want to watch it, I will link it in the card up here. And for those of you who have seen it, I will get right into this. So firstly, I'm just going to show you the products that I did buy. First, I have a multi-chrome pigment in the shade Blue Lagoon. And it's difficult to show you in the pot, so I'll put a picture up here so that you can see what that actually looks like. Next is the highlighter in the shade Pearl. I will show you the outer packaging here and the inside. Now it does say that this highlighter is peach with a blue violet glow so we shall see about that. And lastly I picked up these lashes, they are the style Raven so I'm going to be giving those a try today too. So let's get into this, I'm very excited. So I just want to put some colours in my crease before I go ahead and put the pigment on. So I'm just going to dip into the Makeup Obsession and Ruddy Daydream palette and I am going to use this purple here and this pink here in my crease. Okay so first I'm dipping into that pink and I'm just going to be placing that on the inner part of my crease. My eye is primed and ready. So, and I don't set my primer. For those of you wondering, I just find that eyeshadows tend to work better for me on an unset primer. So at the moment, just getting oh, dog hair, just getting the colour placement there. Okay, so now we've got that placed. I am just going to use my colour switch just to give my brush a quick wiggle. I am using the Zoeva Two Three One Lux Petite Crease. I should have mentioned that, <laughs> but hey ho, I'm just too excited, and I'm just going to put this one on the outer edge of my crease just blending it into that pink and bringing that down here onto the edge of my lid just going to round that out at the edge there a little bit so this is a very exciting brand for me to be trying um, mainly because I come from the Isle of Wight, so uh, a very small island and you would think not much goes on there. However, having an indie brand come out is extremely exciting, for me at least. Okay, so I feel like I've taken away a lot of that pink, so I'm going to go back in with that just a little bit, just to bring that back a bit more. Okay, so to go in with the pigment here, I'm going to use my Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush, and I'm just going to tap that very gently in there because you don't need much at all apparently so here goes oh my god look at that wow Wow. 
That is stunning. The shift. I hope you can see this on camera like I can see this in the mirror here. The shift in colour is absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. How well can you guys see this? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I am blown away by this colour. Very, very impressed. I'm just going to take a little bit more, do you want, yeah, a little bit of that purple just to go over the edges there so it doesn't look quite so harsh. Okay, so I'm just going to spray my brush just to see if we can intensify that a little bit more. And the answer to that is yes. So there was some fallout under my eyes, but that's to be expected with a loose pigment. But overall, I am very impressed with that colour. It is beautiful. So I'm just going to wax some colour on my lower lash line. I think I'm going to go in with a touch of that purple just from the Makeup Obsession Ready palette. And I'm going to use that pink just to soften the edge of that. And I'm bringing that pink right in. Preferably without poking myself in the eye. That's never going to happen. So for my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to dip into this I Heart Revolution Gold Elixir. And I think I'm just going to dip into this really icy one on this side. Wow, you really don't need much of this. So now we've got the eyes done, I'm extremely happy. I'm going to nip off camera, put on my blush, mascara and lashes. I'm going to be trying these in the Style Raven from Makeup by Lisa. I'm not fantastic at putting on lashes, so I will do that off camera. And then I will be right back with you to try out this highlighter. If I can put it the right way around. Okay, so I'm back. I have finished off my face, apart from the highlighter. Um, I have used on my lips the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in Going Steady. And the lipstick is the Revolution Pro. It is the Pro Supreme Lipstick in Instigator. And in my waterline, I have put on the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in 2 2 Turquoise. And the eyeliner I've used is by e.l.f. And the mascara is the W7 Flirty Lashes. Now, these lashes I'm loving. They are so fluffy. I don't know if you can see on camera. Look how fluffy they are. I think these might well be my new favourite lashes. 
Oh, I feel all fluttery. So now for the next exciting bit, we are going to be trying out this highlighter in pearl. Just try and do this so that you can see too. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's there. <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, my word. Looking at that now, I could have used that on my brow bone and in my inner corner. Can you see that? Oh, my word. You don't need much of this. It doesn't seem to leave much of a cast either when looking straight on. I don't know if you can see, but when I turn, look at that. Let's check it in a bit there. Check that tiny bit there. Well, I'm thoroughly impressed and looking forward to trying some more by Makeup by Lisa. Um, I have reached out to Lisa to ask her if there is anything new coming with the brand. And she assures me that yes, things are in the works. I do believe bullet lipsticks are next on the list. And I do know that down the line we will be seeing eyeshadow palettes. So I think this is a brand that we need to be keeping our eyes on. Okay, so that's it from me today. I have had a whale of a time. I hope you have too. I do love discovering new indie brands. And I look forward to seeing what Makeup by Lisa has in store for us next. So if you have liked this, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. And if you feel like it, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's just not your basic stuff. Thank you so much for being with me today. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.